Hey guys, I have been reading comments on my YouTube videos and one of the problems that everyone seems to have, particularly after the Oreo upgrade, is that this phone slows down. The problem is not particularly limited to this phone but Xperia phones in general. So I saw one or two comments on the Oreo upgrade for Xperia X, Oreo upgrade for Xperia XZ and Oreo upgrade for XZ Premium. So all three videos, there are one or two comments which says that the phone overheats, the battery drain drains very quickly. So in this video, I will show you how to address this problem by repairing the Android software on your Sony Xperia smartphone. And yes, I was having battery backup issues with this phone after the Oreo upgrade, but now it seems to be working fine. Alright, to repair the software on your Sony Xperia smartphone, you'll need a few things. First off, you'll need access to the internet. Secondly, you'll need access to a computer, be it a Windows or a Mac. And then you'll need to go ahead and install the software called Xperia Companion. You can go ahead and download this from this website, link is down in the video description. Select your appropriate operating system and download the software, install it and you'll see this window open. And yes, you also need a USB cable. Now make sure that you get an appropriate USB cable for your phone. This Xperia X uses a micro USB cable. But if you're repairing a phone which is uh, using USB Type-C port, get a USB Type-C cable. Now we're going to go ahead and connect the Xperia smartphone to the computer. Let's go ahead and plug in the USB and we'll select the second option which says file transfer. Alright that's all you need to do on your smartphone just keep it here now and in case your Xperia smartphone does not boot up in case the phone is completely dead go ahead check out this video right here. I'll show you in this video I'll show you how to fix your Xperia smartphone in case that this thing does not boot up. So you can see that the Sony Xperia device is connected to the computer. Now select the second option which says software repair. Click on next and yes make sure that the battery is at least 50% charged. And I cannot stress on this enough guys you'll need to know your email address and the password of your Google account. In case you don't know your password and the uh, email address you will not be able to sign in into your phone on the Google Play Store and thus rendering the phone completely useless. So this is an anti-theft feature that is built into the Google operating system. So you must know your Google account details before you proceed to repair the software or do a factory reset on your Xperia smartphone. Anyways, let's go ahead, click on next. And now we wait and this thing takes a little bit of time because uh, it depends on your internet connection. So let's just wait. Alright, so downloading has finished, it's just preparing the device and once again important, do not disconnect your Xperia at this point. So it is restarting automatically. And once again guys, let me tell you again, everything on the phone will be erased including apps, including photos, music, that is on the internal memory. So SD card will stay intact, but everything on the internal memory will be erased and your phone will be restored to factory settings as if it was new. So once again, it's giving me the same message which I was just telling you guys. All personal content in the device including contacts, messages, photos and other data will be lost. Please make sure that you have backup of the device before proceeding and contact content on the SD card will not be erased. Alright, so let's go ahead. So the software is now ready to be repaired. Click on next and the process will begin. All right, now we just wait. All righty, you can see the Xperia software repair has been completed successfully. Now we can go ahead and disconnect the phone from the computer and turn it on. So let's see if we can do this with one hand. USB is disconnected, wait for the light to turn off and now we will turn on the phone. And yes, the first startup will take a little while. You can see it shows there the first startup may, after repair may take longer than usual. So after about 5 minutes we are here, let's go ahead and do this. No, I don't want to send diagnostic data. Set up as new, let me just sign in I'll be right back. Alright, so this is what I was cautioning you guys about. You'll need to know your previous account details, your previous Google account details which was signed in with this phone. 
So I'm gonna sign in with my account and I'll be right back. Alright, so if you enable two-factor authentication, check the prompt on your other, fo other phone. So would you like to receive sign-in prompts? Yes, why not? So do I need to enter it now? I'm gonna enter the fingerprint later on. Right now I just wanna set this phone up. Turn off location services. Nope, don't want Google Assistant. Experience services. Go ahead, sign in with Google. All right, finish and we are on our home screen. And yes, this is Android Oreo, as you can see. Brand new installation of Android Oreo straight from Sony's website. All right, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video helps you solve your uh, issues with the Sony Xperia smartphone after the upgrade. Alright, so thanks for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these and I'll see you guys next time.